gonna be a good day. Half dozen donuts from Donut Love in Hampton, New Hampshire. It's 7 a.m. on Friday, and we're headed to Boston. got to our campsite for the night. There she is. Got our donuts and coffee. We're gonna chow down and then we're gonna head into Boston. 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 So it's gonna be a good comprehensive tour, but it's gonna be like lightning. I'm gonna try and hammer through everything. So without any further ado, you ready? Here we go. Boston's founded in the year 1630, but my tour starts way the heck back. What happens is the British don't really lose the revolution so much as we capture 25,000 of their JV squad. If you're not American, allow me to sing it for you. It goes. <laughs> My country tis of thee, sweet land of liberty of thee, I sing. You know what I'm talking about, more or less? If the British should march by land or by sea from the town tonight, hang a lantern aloft from the belfry arch of the North Church Tower as a signal light. One if by land, and two if by sea, and I on the opposite shore shall be, ready to ride and spread the alarm through every Middlesex village and farm, for the village folk to be up and to all down this street in between the buildings. You see the old North Church Tower, that big white steeple? Remember on the map I showed you that's as far north as you can get? Well, turn around. You see the trees? That's the Boston Common. The buildings beyond that would have been in the bay in the back of Boston. That wasn't there. So from the end of that tree line to that church steeple, that's it. That was Boston. We just got done with our walking tour of the Freedom Trail. Highly recommend. So cool. Killed it. So much information. It was funny and engaging and like you learn about the general history, but then all these little tidbits just about like the time period of everything that happened here, even before the Revolutionary War and everything, but so much fun. So much fun. It's a hot day. It's currently, I think I said 92. 92 but feels like 98 it's so hot so we're not in any rush to get back to the rig because we're parked in a parking lot with full sun it's gonna be ugly uh so we had a drink at the green green dragon, dragon. and the reason there is a strip of old um not old bars but i think like original bars and the reason that they got their name was because the sailors were pretty illiterate um well they were illiterate so they just used um Places like Green Dragon and Hand and Bell was the other one, White Bull. Yeah. So like where there could be images versus a name of mine. Are you thirsty? It's almost a hundred out. Thank you, 7-Eleven. And we also need water at the uh, at the rig because ours is gonna be boiling. We're staying at for Harvest Host. We're not the only people here. There's yeah. like three other people, which is Harvest Hosters. The, the brewery's packed. Yeah, right. But yeah, I'm gonna go probably have one beer and then hopefully come back and try to fall asleep. It's only gonna get down to I think 80 tonight. Full it's 89 in here. It's not always glorious, people. But we make the most of it. I'm having fun, it's just hot. Now we got the music going from the live band. Oh, that's your music. Um, but I came back on here to tell you yesterday I realized I had some food in my beard, so. Oh my God, did you? Yeah. Oh, wow. That's Gypsy! What happened to the breeze? Oh my god, we can literally see it from right there. 